Let me tell you why you're broke. The reason you're broke is because you're not making coffee at home and you're going to Starbucks and spending $6 on a cold brew. I'm just kidding guys, <laughs> like what those gurus tell you online, the reason you're broke is not because you're not making coffee at home. Now there's plenty of things that you could be doing to increase your financial wealth that you're not doing. But don't worry, I'm here to break them down for you and help you on your quest to financial freedom. If you like any about finances, stock market, crypto, building side hustles, make sure you subscribe to the channel because it's the best channel out there. Leave a like and a comment to help the algorithm so other people can get financially educated just like you. So I'm going to be breaking down the five reasons you're staying broke. Reason number one is your damn cars. Guys, I go to the supermarket and I'll see 10 BMWs, Range Rovers, Mustangs, and everything of the sort while the average income is less than $45,000 a year. So when I go to the supermarket and I see 10 BMWs, Range Rovers, Porsches, Mercedes, while the average income is less than $50,000, can you tell me where people are getting this money to spend on the cars? They're obviously out of their own budget. The average American spends nearly $800 a month on a car. So if the average income is only $45,000, how can we spend $800 on a car? That's just way too much, correct? Right? Imagine you're able to save $800 a month because you know you get a Toyota that's maybe five years old and you're able to pick it up for seven to $8,000. The reliability will be there just as much as a new car. So don't come to me with those you know, new cars, more reliable BS because it's just not true. Pick up a Toyota, you don't have to worry about it. It's five, $6,000. You know, if anything breaks, it's super easy to fix, super cheap gas. Now imagine you did this change that you're able to save around $600 a month. That's saving you $200 a year. Over two years, that's gonna be around fourteen dollars or $15,000. And guys, I don't care what you say, that is a down payment for a home if you use an FHA loan, if you use some kind of A loan, if you're prior military, first home buyer loans, all these are type of loans, you will be able to afford a $200,000, $400,000 home eventually, which you can you know, either live in, house hack, and then rent out the other side. And before you know it, you live in the house for two years, you're able to rent out somebody, make the house a cash flow object, and more money you save, you get another house, you go live in it, and you repeat the process until you build a great portfolio. It's a circle. Reason number two you're broke is because you're not subscribed to the channel. So make sure you subscribe to the channel because 50% of the subscribers go for be broke to become multimillionaires. So you wanna enter the 50% and go subscribe right now. Second real reason is because you're keeping up with the Joneses. You're keeping up with your neighbors, you keep up with your friends. That, at the end of the day, guys, these people, if they really care about you, it doesn't matter if you're a BMW, it doesn't matter if you shop with the, a regular t-shirt, it does matter if you shop with the Big Games Club hoodie, as you guys can see. Don't worry, it will be coming soon, more announcements on that. But if you shop with this, you know, everybody's gonna wanna talk to you. If your friends are the type to really care and make fun of you for any of this, you should remove them and you know keep them far away as possible. Because when you to get into this thing that you try to keep up with the next person and there's gonna be someone else richer than you there's always gonna be someone richer than, me, than you just like there's someone richer than me i don't care about like what car i drive with somebody else because i don't know where that person is in their life right even if i have the nicest car someone will be out there that has the same car but golden so i just can't keep up with everybody especially with your friends group i promise you none of my friends are the type to care what i wear what i drive if you're in one of those friends groups that just cares about all this kind of stuff, the, the hottest vacation, the best hotel you're staying at, and they'll make fun of you. If you're not, it's maybe uh, a reason for you to find a new friend group because that friend group will peer pressure you into spending more than what you can afford. When you go out to the club and buying those bottles, buying a VIP table, buying a steak versus making a steak at home, you, know, you want to stay away from those because no matter what you say, they're eventually going to peer pressure you in spending a lot more money every single month and you're going to be regretting this on the long term. Third reason is you're all talk, not action. What do I mean by that is you're trying to get rich quick. You're the person that, you know, wants to invest, they're like, okay, I want to get into investment, this and that, and you're the type to buy Pepe coin, Dogecoin, Shiba coin, because you're trying to get rich quick. And what happens, you actually don't understand the markets, and by the time you get information like, hey, Pepe coin has been running, you end up buying the top, you get rug pull, and you lose a ton of money. So you're like, hey, I'm putting up this $5,000, thinking you're gonna make a great investment, it's gonna make you a lot more money. Guess what, you're gonna be losing that money. What should you really be doing if you are uneducated is invest your education. Buy yourself a course, understand that wealth is built slowly and quietly. And yes, you might have heard the story of somebody that got rich quick once, you know, they bought Dogecoin, they made a million dollars. 90% of those people don't really know how to spend their money, they'll blow it, buy a new Lambo with, you know, half a million dollars, and before they know it, they can afford the payments on that car, and you'll see them working back at McDonald's where they started. So let your success speak for you, educate yourself, 
don't try to get rich quick. Build plans to build your wealth slowly but surely because compounding your wealth is the number one way to get rich in the long term. And always remember, there is no substitute for hard work. Hard work! Hard work! Hard work! Hard work! Unless you were born with money already and you speak to any millionaire and you know, I challenge you to do this, go up to any millionaire and you know, ask him how to get rich. No one's gonna give you an easy answer. It's like, hey, I just woke up one day, invested into paper coin and became a millionaire. They all get there with hard work, taking risks and you know, educating themselves. Unless you're born rich, there is no way you can substitute hard work. Reason number four is you've not taken any risks. You are scared of taking a risk. I'm sure everyone has thought about before, hey, I wanna start this business, I wanna take this risk, I wanna get into trading, I wanna get into whatever it is, make it t-shirts, make coffee, whatever it is, and you just were too scared of it. The number one reason people are scared is not because they don't have any in them, is that because their nine to five is actually holding them back. Because your nine to five is paying you just enough to not take the risk. They're paying just enough for you to live your life and enjoy it a little bit and you know, being able to make end, ends meet every single month. What I've found that a lot of entrepreneurs, the way they really got rich was because life kicked them in the, you know where. Far from a job, they, you know, they lost all their money, they had to fall for bankruptcy and their back was against the wall. And something happens when your back is against the wall that you really push yourself and you break out this box that you're in where you're forced to take this risk and then these risks end up paying you off. Now, I don't want you to quit your nine to five. Don't think that, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying in your spare time, rather than going out every single weekend, going to a party, try something different. Take that risk that you were willing to take. Even if it was a few thousand dollars, guys, it's okay. Trust me, every entrepreneur has lost money on a business. So don't be so scared of taking those risks. If you take them, I promise you, they will pay off. I haven't met anyone in my life I've not met one person that did not take a risk and you know stuck to whatever they were risking and not became successful eventually. Someone went back to college, you know, when they were older. They eventually got the degree. Someone, you know, got into fitness when they were, you know, when they were extremely obese and really stuck to that diet and exercise, and they eventually got there. Someone baked the best coffee in you know coffee store in the whole neighborhood. They eventually became successful. Lastly, guys, number five is your network. If you hang out four other millionaires, you're gonna become the five millionaires. Exactly, we've all heard of that. And I actually have the one third rule. This is what I like to call, you know, we all wanna hang out with millionaires and so on, but a lot of times the millionaires don't wanna hang out with you. But if you practice the 33% rule or the one third rule, I promise you uh, it'll become a lot more easier. What do I mean by that? So 33% of the time I like to spend with people that are at a lower level than me. So let's say I make $100,000 a year, I'll hang out with someone that's making 50, 60, $70,000 a year. The reason being, is I can teach them something. And when you teach someone something, you inevitably become a better expert on that topic and you can help them and eventually help you grow as a person. Then another 33% of my time, what I like to do is spend with people that are equal as me. So if I surround myself with four other people that are making $100,000 a month, we all talk about how can we level up, we can bounce ideas off each other, we can grow together, we can build a network, we can start something together. So a lot of times, guys, billionaires are not gonna start business with you. They'll talk to you, they'll give you advice, whatever it is, but they got millionaire friends to do big business with where you just don't really have the funds. But now if you can start those ideas at a lower scale with a group of people that are around your levels, you just can all you know, become those millionaires together, it will really help in the long term. And remember, all these people need to have the same goals that you have and be aligned on the same path. And the last two or three percent is people that are doing better than me. How do you get around people that are doing better than you? You might be asking. Well, go to those networking events, right? Go to, like when Lamborghini has an event, I try to get myself a ticket, get, try to get myself in there around the right people. It doesn't mean you have to own a Lamborghini, it doesn't mean you have to own a Rolex, but around you, I'm sure there's events, you know, within a one to two hour distance that you can attend and meet those people, network, right? They're not gonna ask you how much money you make, right? You just need to be there and be a stand-up person, you know, trying to greet everybody, and eventually you'll be able to be around those groups that will help you and then you'll be able to learn something from them. You learn something from them, you bring it back to your own group, you guys can grow together. Well guys, so those are the top five reasons you're broken. What you can do to change them. If you think of anything else, make sure you leave in the comments down below. If you want to trade with me, learn with me every single day, trade live in the stock market. The links will always be in the description. And as always, peace.